Hello and welcome to the section of the Trig and Precalculus Tutor. Here we're going to talk about the so-called squaring identities uh, of sine, cosine, and tangent squared. Now we've already had the Pythagorean identity that has some squaring involved. That's kind of like your fundamental uh, identity when you see cosine squared or sine squared, you go use the Pythagorean identity. Here are a few more identities that you have in your bag of tricks. They're not used nearly as often, I'll tell you that now, so don't feel like you have to memorize these, but it's nice to know they exist and sometimes you might have a need to pull them out of your tool bag, so to speak. So what we have for these so-called squaring identities is the following. Okay, the first one we have is sine squared of some angle and that's equal to 1 minus the cosine of 2 times the angle over 2. 1 minus cosine of 2 times the angle over 2. Now you'll notice a resemblance to cosine squared of an angle. That's going to be 1 plus cosine of 2 times the angle that you're talking about over 2. So they're basically the same thing. They separated by a plus there. And then you have tangent squared of an angle. And that kind of looks similar also. 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 1 plus cosine 2 theta. Now again, these are not used nearly as often, um, but they are, they are handy. If you ever see an expression that looks like one of these guys, you can simplify it greatly. It just depends on what you're trying to do. You may have a cancellation you're trying to pull off where it's helpful to have something like this in there, uh, and, and the problems just might lend itself to it sometimes. So the first problem that we have, just to sort of uh, exercise these guys, would be the following. What if you had cosine squared of 3x, where you know this is an angle, 3 times some angle, minus the sine squared of 3x, and let's prove that it's equal to cosine of 6x. Let's pr prove that it's uh, equal to cosine of 6x. So here we have a cosine squared, here we have a sine squared. Right, so we just use the identities here. Here we have a cosine squared of an angle. It's 1 plus cosine of 2 times the angle over 2. So here what we have, following that identity, is 1 plus cosine of 2 times the angle. The angle in here is the entire thing the cosine is working on. So it's 2 times 3x. 2 times that, because we had 1 plus cosine of 2 times the angle. So 2 times the angle in there, and of course that's all over 2. And here we have a minus sign. And for the sine squared, it's 1 minus cosine of 2 times the angle. So it's 1 minus cosine of 2 times the angle, the angle being 3x again. And this is all, again, over 2. OK? So we think we might be getting somewhere because 2 times 3 is going to give us 6x. And we, that is on the right-hand side. So that's, that's good. But we're a long ways away from, from being able to actually uh, pull it all off. So let's go ahead and continue. We'll have 1 plus cosine 6x over 2 minus 1 minus cosine of 6x over 2. So what you have here is you just go ahead and subtract these fractions here. So you'll have 1 plus cosine 6x. And you have to be careful when you apply the subtraction here. It's going to be minus 1 plus cosine 6x. This negative is sort of applied to the 1 and applied to the negative there, giving you negative and positive. On the bottom, you keep the same common denominator, just like you do any time you subtract fractions. So what you see right away is you have a plus 1 and a minus 1. They disappear. And then here you have cosine 6x and cosine 6x. They're added together, so you get 2 times cosine 6x over 2. 